Hey everyone, so this video is the other present that I got for my birthday. Um, I meant to record this like last week and I've just been busy doing work stuff so it hasn't happened. And here, here it is. This is the first video I've done like with my um, phone on my, the camera on my phone, um, like handheld. Usually I have my phone just like sitting on a box and then I don't have to move it, uh, but this video I'm moving it and it's the first one I've done like this, so I apologize if it's not that great. Yeah, it's probably going to be a bit shaky and you're probably going to stare at a wall for a while while I like move around or something. Anyway, uh, just getting straight to it. There it is. That is the other present I got. It is a record player. <sighs> yep. Uh, this is a Crosley keepsake. And I was going to get just like a normal Crosley record p player, but this one uh, has something else to it that makes it very... Uh, just a lot more useful to me, I guess. So, I have to get a little bit closer. And you open it up. And... There we go. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is that that top part like comes off all the way, and it's it's just really weird. I figured it would have like you could put it all the way back so that it's just laying like flat like that, or like it could stay like like that at a right angle. Yeah. So, I mean, it's pretty much a normal record player. I'm not gonna go like much into it, I guess. Um, so, that's, yeah, a record player. Cool, cool. But this one in particular, the reason why I got this one, hold on, I have to turn it around. Oh yeah, wait, the other thing I didn't like about it is that here are the, the legs. I put these like little felt I don't know, pads on them so that it it could slide easily um, from the place I have it in my room. But the, the like stands it has, the black parts kept on leaving like black marks on my white furniture because my uh, shelves and, and stuff are, are white, my furniture is. And it was leaving these black rings and black like slide marks when I would take it off the shelf and so I, I put those on and it's much more easy to to move now anyway so <clears throat> down here um it's a little bit hard to see it's kind of dark um yeah anyway I think it's okay to see this is just the normal like power um plug in uh, this one, this is an audio input, so if, uh, if you had, like, your, f wait, yeah, I don't want to mix this up, because for some reason I mix these up all the time. I'm pretty sure that this one is an audio input, so if you wanted to, um, like, listen to music from your phone or from your iPod and listen to it through the speakers of the record player, then that that's what that's for. And then the line out is if you wanted to um, listen to the record from the record player, like, you know, using the record, but hearing it from, like, your own speakers. Like, over here I have my computer on the ground, and... This isn't where I'm going to keep it. Like, I have room on my desk where my uh, TV is. But for some reason, I just haven't moved it. So, like, I could hook up my speak my speakers there to um, my record player and hear the record from my own speakers instead of the record player. But the really cool thing about this record player in particular, again, it's called the Crosley Keepsake, um, is this part right here. It says PC USB. So there's a cord that came with it, and you plug it into there, and then on the other side is a USB, and you hook it up to your computer, and 
then it comes with a CD, which I, I don't have next to me, um, so I can't like show it to you right now. Um, but it comes with software so that you can make your record, you can like convert it into MP3 files, which I think is awesome because then if I get a record and, you know, if I get a record, I'm not going to get, like, the CD, obviously, because I have the record, so why would I get the CD? But it's, like, really convenient, because then if I'm, like, really into that that record and I just keep listening to it, then I can put it on my computer and then put it on my phone and listen to it in the car or on my walks, because I, ha I listen to music from my phone um, when I go on walks. So, like, that's cool, because then it's n it's not just like, oh, I have to be near a, a power source and have my record player and record with me. I can, you know, have it on the go. So, that's the main reason why I got this record player. It was, I think this, I was going to get it from the um, Crosley website. But then I got it um, off of Amazon because it was like $30 cheaper. I'm pretty sure I got this for $130. And the price on the Crosley website was uh, $160, I think. Um, yeah. So, um, I guess I can... I'll play something. Yeah. Um, I only have two records right now. I got one that was like my first record that I got, and then my friend uh, came over one day and she was like, "What? You got a record player?" Like she's really into records too, even though she doesn't like have a record player. It's just something that she really wants. And then she came over like the next week, and then she surprised me with like a super late birthday present. But it was very much appreciated. And it's awesome. So I'll show you the records that I got, since I only have two. Yeah. Um, yes, okay, so this first one, I'll just show you it on the ground. Um, I don't know where the inspiration for the band name came from, but this record is the Eagles in Drag record. Um, it's like a side project sort of. Um, one of the bands that I talked about um, in my other video, like what I did for my birthday video, um, one of the bands, The Main, uh, the singer, the lead singer, and one of the guitarists, and then another band that I listened to but they broke up called A Rocket to the Moon, um, the vocalist, the lead vocalist, he also plays guitar, and the bassist, and then, who else is the, who's like the fifth member? Um, oh, the brother of the bassist of the main. Like, I don't, that probably sounds a bit confusing, but like those five people did like this little side project called Eagles and Drag, and it took me, it wasn't until I got this record in the mail, because I had to order it online, because uh, that's the only way it's available, but it wasn't until I like received it that I realized that those are flamingos and not eagles. I just think it's really funny. And so, anyway, uh, this is like a self-titled EP. And uh, there's actually, it's super limited. There's only like 400 of these, which is cool. Because now I like appreciate that I like have it more. And, uh, what else? It's not available as a CD. It's only available as a record, which is the main reason why I wanted it to be, like, my first record. And you can also get it off of iTunes, just saying. So it's not like you can't ever listen to it unless you have the record. Uh, yeah. So. Was that all I wanted to say? I think so. So Eagles and Dragon, then there's... It's only an EP, so there's five songs on it. Oh my god, I just got real. I so apologize. So, yep. And, um... Can I do this one-handed? I think so. Um, this side... I don't know if I can do this one-handed, actually. Um, so... There's the B side, and then the white... Or, the A side is just, like, white. Mostly. Gosh. 
angling is awful on this video. Um, what is, shoot, I don't remember if this one has, if one side has two songs and one side has three, but I don't remember which has, then, I mean, this is pretty normal, just like a, um, headphone jack, this is the power, so, we turned it on, and then this is the volume now, and then here's the tone, so, I don't know. I wasn't going to play this one. I'll do the other one, but I'll see how it goes. Oh, dang it. I didn't put far enough. I don't know what I had the tone on. Oh, well. Yep. Well, oh yeah, I shouldn't turn it all the way down. Um, so that one's that one. Um, am I gonna be able to get this back in here one-handed? I'll try. Um, nope, I'm gonna put the phone down for a moment. Well, the camera, I guess. So it'll be black. I'll maybe cut that part out. Anyway, okay, yeah. Oh, there's my carpet! <laughs> <clears throat> okay, and now the next, um, the other record I have is the one that my friend Sarah gave me, and so it is the Stuck in Love movie soundtrack, and we actually watched this together, like, Oh my god, like, such a long time ago, but that's not important. Yeah, we watched it together on Netflix, and I it, she had already seen it before, and she was, like, obsessed with it, and I really liked it, and she, she got me the record. Like, she texted me, and she was like, what were records that you were talking about that you wanted? And so I, I gave her this huge list. I, I knew she was coming over, like, that following Friday, but I was not expecting, like, a present, so has sticky notes on it that I, I've i kept on. So that one says, like, Happy Birthday, Bailey. And this one says, I'm sorry this is so late. And this one says, Love ya. So, yeah. <laughs> um, and then that is the back. And then I will take it out. Uh, this side has like a letter written by Josh Boone, right? Yep. And uh he's the director, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, written and directed by Josh Boone. So that is like a letter that he wrote like talking about the music of the film and then there's the track list so it says like side 1 and side 2. And then there's, like, a little part of the, um, script. And then I'm gonna take it out. Can I? Mm. Okay. There we go. Um, which side do I want? Oh, uh, the, this one. Yep. Oh no, I have to sneeze. Phew. Excuse me. Okay. Mm so, uh, this one is the second side, I'm pretty sure. And it has a song by Elliot Smith. And I really like Elliot Smith. So, that's why I played this side. Drink up, baby, stay up all night With the things you could do You are but you might The potential you'll be That you'll never 
And then I'll just, um, I'm going to mess with the tone just so you can hear the difference, I guess. So, volume up. I think I like it, like, here. There. Yep. So that that is the record player I got. Super exciting. And um wait, I'll tell you the name of that song. Uh the first song I played was called 146, I think. Oh shoot, now I have to think about it in my head. Okay, well it was either called Buzz or 146. Uh, cause I don't remember if side A has two songs or three songs. Anyway, and then the other one, uh, that was called Between the Bars by Elliot Smith. So, that is, that's the other present I got. And I love it. And I can't wait to get more records. So, I think I'm gonna keep, um, making videos and just updating on... Uh, records I get and um, albums I get. I'm actually thinking about pre-ordering a couple of albums soon. Uh, one comes out on I think like November 4th and then the other one comes out on the 28th of October. So yeah, um, two new albums that I hope to get. And uh, there is one other band I I had a pre-order bundle um, come a while ago in the mail and I, I'm going to show that in another video. I think my next video though, um, I want to do like an update video with, um, I have two movies that I recently got like this past weekend and then just talk about what I've been watching and doing lately basically because um, I saw a movie in theaters and then I've recently ended and started a new TV show and a lot of other things. So, I don't know which video will come first. The, um, another, like, music one or movie update stuff. So, anyway, um, I didn't want to make this video that long, but I'm awful at making short videos. <laughs> um, yeah, so, thank you for watching. Uh, have, have a musical day. I'm pretty sure I said that last time. But, yeah, have a musical day. <laughs> and, um, I will see you in my next video. Bye!